Gears of War is known for being a masterpiece. It's a 360 exclusive and is praised by many. Some say that it's repetitive and that the locations are few. Now about the repetitiveness, you can say about almost every game that it's repetitive, but that doesn't hinder a game of being fun. And about the locales, I do agree that they look bland and they all have this unsaturated, mushy post-apocalyptic feel to them. But about visuals, I can't complain, I mean visuals are subjective. I don't like bulky, out of proportion characters, but that doesn't mean that because someone doesn't like the art style of a game, it's a bad game. Ok, so now that we took the criticism out, and those are nitpicks, let's talk about the game's strong points. The shooting part of the game is fantastic. The AI flanks you and your teammates flank enemies and actually contribute on the battlefield. Unlike other shooters where they are so dumb that they just pretend to shoot the enemy. Here they actually help. Also the cover system is incredible. You can easily jump from cover to cover and you really need to watch your cover as enemies are tough and smart. You need to be very strategic with them and flank them. Occasionally your teammates get hurt and you need to go and help them. And also a detail I like about the game is that it lets you choose how you want to tackle the situation. You have alternatives. You can also chainsaw enemies, which is very cool. Use turrets, drive. Overall, the game is solid. And the gaming community seems fixed that this game is a masterpiece. But for me, the game isn't a masterpiece. It's solid and great, but not a masterpiece. But it was the start of something great for sure. Oh, and somewhere in the game I got annoyed by my teammates. They were getting themselves killed in the battle. I was looking for cover since the enemies had turrets, but my teammates went dipping in the bullets. And of course that they got hurt. And I had two options. Option 1, do nothing about my teammates and lose the game and restart from a checkpoint because the AI is so stupid. Or option 2, go in and help the fallen teammates but die myself and get restarted with the checkpoint anyway. So yeah, this annoyed me in the game. But even if I have problems calling Gears of War 1 a masterpiece, Gears of War 2 is one for sure. The game is much more cinematic, the action gets you and you understand more from the story in the second one than in the first one, if you're like me, and get more engaged in the story. It doesn't matter that the plot is a cliche, you still like it. And the gameplay, if people said that in the first one the game looked bland and that all locations blend in, now you get plenty of locations of different color palettes. And if people were calling the gameplay repetitive in the first one, in the second Gears of War game, the game formula gets spiced up so much that in so moments you feel like in a normal shooter, other times like in a game about mythology, like for example God of War and kill giant sea monsters, other times you feel like if you're in a horror game like Dead Space, other times you're in the mature version of the magic school bus and go down a giant worm and cut its heart arteries. What I want to say is that the gameplay formula feels much more varied in the second one than in the first one. And gameplay wise, there are some differences too. In the first one, your teammates could get hurt, but you couldn't. You will just burst into pieces if your health bar went low in the first one. But in this one, if you get hurt, your teammates can save you, they can revive you. In the second half of the game, it's true that the game gets kinda repetitive. I mean, if in the first half you get new gameplay elements frequently, in the second half it's these environments with red tint and in which you fight one wave after the other. But even those repetitive parts were fun. Overall, I consider Gears of War 2 a masterpiece. If you haven't played the game yet, you definitely should. And Gears of War 3 continues everything Gears of War 2 did great. The variety. I mean, sure, you still gun your way through ways of enemies for 90% of the time. 
But the way the gunning is implemented is what makes this game so special. The low kills are beautiful and with different themes. And this makes the game have different feels to it. Even if you're gunning your way, you get hooked by the story, by the gameplay and by the variety of feelings the game gives you. I mean, this game isn't just an alien shooter, it's a zombie shooter too and before you blast your it's a cliche comment, just know that I'm not a fan of zombie games. But this one, wow. These zombies aren't the stereotypical zombies you see in movies, they are called lambans and they explode when you shoot them and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some go off dramatically, others with a small blast, but all of them are fun to shoot. Also returning from the previous game are the locusts. And this time they come in a bigger variety. You get new types of locust enemies and the game manages to pull them carefully and systematically, so that from level to level the experience gets spiced up by something new. Whether it is that you are using the silverback or use the siege machines, the game brings new stuff and spices things up. Also, I love that just like in Gears of War 2, you get the feel of different games from the action genre. Once you feel like in a zombie apocalypse game, other times you're feeling like in a fantasy world, or like a game of Uncharted where you have to shoot bandits. I mean, you don't feel exactly like in those games, obviously, but they give you that certain vibe and you instantly feel some nostalgia from those parts of the game. Gears of War 3, just like its predecessor, is another masterpiece I totally recommend you play. Gears of War Judgment is rather disappointing. And not because the game is bad, but because after two amazing games, this one is repetitive and missed what was great about the other ones. The whole game feels like a series of battle arenas. Seriously, all you do is fight in battle arenas. The arenas even are split into well-defined sections. You even get a star rating on how you perform. To summarize the gameplay for you, you get into a section where you have to shoot everyone, that's it. <laughs> and then after each small bullet exchange, you get a rating, and you even have to wait for the menu to load. After that, you get a cutscene, and rinse and repeat. That's the whole game. You get only one single level where you can use the silverback. That's it. One level that feels somehow different. And even that consists of just shooting in battle arenas. This is the only time you had something of a vehicular level or something that felt different. Oh and also, in those 7 hours of gameplay you get only one boss fight, the final boss. That's it. In rest, all you do in the game is fight in battle arenas. And even the way the game treats those battle arenas is annoying. The layout is like a battle royale game. You set up defenses and wait for the next wave of enemy to come. I don't like this stuff in a single player campaign. Battle Royales are fun because they are multiplayer games, but having a layout like this in a single player campaign loses any immersion the game wanted to make by having a story. Other than this, now you have a button for grenades, it's the left shoulder button, the one that you use before to show the way and show where your comrades are. The button will be useless in this game, I admit, since the layout of the levels is incredibly linear, so it got replaced by a button for grenades. Other than this, some weapons have slight changes, they don't feel the same anymore. But at least, it's nice in this game that you get new weapons. It, it's nice, and they feel nice. Also, another nice detail about the game is that you get new enemy types. As for the level designs, they range from, oh wow, look how beautiful this game is, it's gorgeous, to fog, fog level. Okay, interesting idea. And a couple of fog levels later, oh come on, not another fog level, this is annoying. And after multiple annoying fog levels, you see another one. Even worse, a level only in red. 
So yeah, most of the levels look incredible, but the fog levels were interesting and creative the first couple of times, but then they got annoying. As for the story, it's predictable, but still good. In this game you don't play with Marcus anymore, but you play with the squad led by Baird. And in the trial you get to play from each of the 4 men squads perspective. Overall the game is good, but it's way too repetitive. Compared to the other Gears of War games, this one sucks, but as a standalone game, if the other masterpieces didn't exist, the game would have been good. I mean the shooting mechanics still feel nice, like in the other games. It's just too bad that the gameplay doesn't get spiced up by vehicle levels or that the levels don't make you feel like you are playing different games like in Gears of War 2 or 3. Gears of War Judgment is just pure battle arenas. You could even call it an offline battle royale game in restricted areas. But one aspect I have to praise in the game. The graphics. They are the best looking graphics on a Gears of War game on this system. And I have to praise another part of Gears of War Judgment. After you finish the main story, you can play an extra chapter called Aftermath. And in that part of the game, the old game formula is used. Meaning that you get set objectives and aren't announced that a new wave is coming like it's some sort of online arcade game. Aftermath was the part of the game that put the better graphics to good use. That part of the game felt awesome, while the main story felt just good, in my opinion. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.